All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99, all boxing, everything. Make sure y'all subscribe. All right, y'all, back with another one. It's been a while. I wanted to get my post-fight thoughts on this one. Clarissa Shields versus Vanessa Jonisi. Let me know if I'm saying that incorrect or correct, but uh, I'll just call it Vanessa in the video. Uh, but yeah, man, shout out to Clarissa Shields. She gains another accomplishment, another title, and another weight class. This one for the WBC heavyweight belt and the WBO light heavyweight belt. Now, to clear that up, the WBC, they consider 175 pounds as a heavyweight title. They, I guess they consider heavyweight, um, you know, women's heavyweight, 175 pounds and up. But the WBO, they consider 175 pounds the same as men and women, you know, for, for light heavyweight. So, yeah, Clarissa, she moves up another weight class, gets two more titles by second round knockout this time. Second round TKO over uh, Vanessa Janisi. Now, um, going into this fight... I didn't really know much about Vanessa. You know, I've seen a couple. I went back and seen like some highlights and some footage of her. And I just saw more of like a brawler from her. So I was figuring that, you know, her style in this fight was going to be more of like a close the distance, put a lot of pressure on Clarissa and just try to test Clarissa's chin with her power. But man, like Clarissa moving up to this weight, uh, I think, you know, I have to say that her power carried up here. I mean, she well, a mixture of her skills and powers what got her to knock out here. But uh she was really doing some damage. And I mean, we haven't really seen Clarissa do damage like this, and you know, since I can't really say when, you know, because uh, this is only her third knockout in her career, you know, uh, coming into this fight. She only had two knockouts. And um, even going back to the Savannah Marshall fight, you know, we never really saw her hurt Savannah. She landed some clean shots, but never really did any damage. Same with some of her own other opponents like Hannah Gabriels or um, what's her name? Christina Hammer. You know, she's never really hurt any of those girls like uh, she did this girl at uh, light heavyweight. So it could be a mixture of two things, just this girl being out of her league, but also the fact that, uh, you know, Clarissa Shields power carried up the 175 here, you know, without really having to make a rough weight cut. Uh, first round, you know, we saw Clarissa Shields just use her boxing skills, just use her jab to keep her opponent on the outside. Uh, Vanessa didn't really have an answer to the jab. It was like after she got hit by a couple of straight punches, you know, she just went into respect mode. And she just stayed on the outside. Um, I could see that she wanted to hook her way in. You know, she was trying to get in there with hooks, but she couldn't get past the jab and the straight right hand in the first round. You know, Clarissa was just using her reach, using her distance, and um, using that strength on uh, Vanessa. So first round was just Clar Clarissa just clearly outboxing her. And then the second round, that's where um, that power started coming into play and the damage started happening because uh, Vanessa knew that she couldn't box with Clarissa. So she took a chance. You know, she was trying to back Clarissa into the ropes. She let off a barrage of hooks. Nothing really landed. Clarissa did a really good job off the off the ropes uh, of just slipping a lot of these shots and catching Vanessa Jonisi with some good hooks. And then, boom, she catches with the left hook, and down goes Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa goes down hard from that left hook. It, it just landed sweet on the you know sweet shot on the chin and dropped uh, Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa got back up. You know she was she was game. She got back up. And Clarissa just went after her, landed another barrage, and then landed a good right hand, dropped her again. Vanessa got back up, only to get dropped again by another right hand. So the referee just went on and stopped it here because she she was getting damaged. I mean, those shots, when she took, like, that, that first left hook from that first knockdown and she was put on her back, I didn't think she was going to get up. But when she did and she got dropped again from, a, from that right hand, the second when she was on her back, and you could see it in her face, like, uh, I don't want any more of this. She was like, I don't want any more of this. So that third one, when it came in, the referee, he was watching close, and he just went on and stopped it. And um, that was all she wrote. But, yeah, shout-out to Clarissa Shields. She gets a, another win, another title, and a good knockout. You know, it's something that we haven't seen from her in a while is another knockout. Uh, you know, Clarissa, she likes to come and put on shows. You know, I know a lot of people aren't really a fan of her antics outside of the ring, but when it comes to her skills, that's what I'm watching, you know, like, I'm not really a big fan of everything, you know, these fighters, they do out of the cage or out of the boxing ring. But as far as what she's doing in the in the boxing ring, you know, she's definitely a student of the game and she's putting on shows. You know, she's actually going in there and, you know, trying her best to showcase her skills and the knockouts if they come like this. But, yeah, moving forward from here, man, for Clarissa, you know, this is another belt for her. Um, I really don't see any other like legacy fights for her in boxing right now you know i, I just I, I feel like at this point she's done it all now if she wants to go for like undisputed at heavyweight or slash light heavyweight heavyweight i mean she can you know that would kind of like be a good cap off to her career i don't really don't see any other fighters being like a threat to her right now that's up in weight i mean there's shadeja green but uh shadeja green 
I feel like she's a decent boxer, you know, but I don't really think that she's on that Clarissa level. Like, I still think somebody like Cl Clarissa Shields would soundly outbox Shadeja Green. And that's just me. Um, I like Shadeja Green, but don't get me wrong. Um, I just still think that Clarissa Shields just has that um, urgency for two-minute rounds. I, I think that Shadeja Green kind of boxes at a three-minute round pace. Unless they was to change that and extend that, maybe she could. But even then, like, I just think Clarissa's all-around better um, boxer, you know, has a higher IQ. Uh, you know, she stays ahead in fights, so that would be problems. But uh, I just don't know, like, Clarissa Shields versus any of these girls at the bigger weights. I just don't see it happening. You know, I think Clarissa's too fast, too smart, and too strong for a lot of these girls, you know, that are up in weight. Um, it would take something like uh, Katie Taylor to have to move up to, like, 160 or something like that. But I don't even think – I don't think Katie Taylor would want to do that. You know, Katie Taylor's already getting hit, or, hit a lot at these lower weights, so I don't think she would want to take a Clarissa Shields punch. But – uh, Amanda Serrano, all these girls are too small, in my opinion. Um, Amanda Serrano, you know, she has names, you know, look, to look forward to ahead. Maybe Alicia Baumgartner. She's got a Katie Taylor fight coming up. But other than that, man, I mean, Clarissa, if this is it, or if she wants to unify 175 pounds or heavyweight, whatever you want to call it, that's fine, too. That would be a good cap off their career. But if she wants to come back to MMA and do the PFL thing, definitely do that. You know, um, it's going to be a lot harder and a lot more of a challenge for her so if she's looking for challenges and bigger accomplishments that's where she needs to go because right now i really don't see anybody uh giving her a problem up in her weight class you know from 154 and up unless she wants to do a hannah get well hannah gabriel's pop so i don't know if they'll ever do that rematch you know she kind of lost the respect of a lot of fighters now from that so from here man um i think clarissa she can put her stamp as you know one of the best women boxers of today and um yeah that's that's just where she stands right now until somebody else comes along with some knockout power and wolf style we'll see but guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section combo breaker 99 make sure y'all subscribe i'm out peace